Hi, this is Amir Atorha with Cadence. This is a quick demo on integration of a scoreboard in your UVM environment while using PCI Express VIP. We first look at UVM environment and see how a scoreboard is generally used in UVM environment. Then we discuss the communication mechanism between PCI Express VIP and a scoreboard and how callbacks are used to assist with this. Finally, integration of a scoreboard in a UVM environment with PCI Express VIP is discussed. A scoreboard is used for two main functions. It may model transfer function or reference model, or it could be used to store the data and simply check the output and compare the expected data with received data. As you can see here, monitor collects the data from the UT interface and send it to a scoreboard and it could be from various interfaces of DUT. Then a scoreboard uses high-level system lock construct such as queue or associated array to store the data and do some basic comparison between all this data. But the main question is what information, how and when this information is sent to the scoreboard. PCI Express VIP is an encapsulated verification component with sequencer, driver, and monitor, and each monitor has many UVM analysis ports which allows the data to be transferred from monitor to the scoreboard. So the main communication mechanism between PCI Express monitor and a scoreboard is via TLM ports. Now let's take a look at the monitor code which is provided in the VIP installation. This is the monitor file, CDN PCIe UVM monitor, there are many UVM analysis ports defined in the monitor which allow the user to get access to the information in different layers like transaction layer, physical layer, or data link layer. Now let's take a look at one of these UVM analysis ports. So these ports provide you a packet, could be TLP, DLLP, or order set at the end of the life cycle of the model and you can use it to compare with your expected packet in the scoreboard. Note that specific callbacks need to enable to activate each DLM port. Now we look into what information and when it will be sent from the monitor to the scoreboard. PCI Express VIP is instrumented with callbacks to provide important information to the verification engineer at different stages of the execution for different layers to be viewed, debugged, compared, and even manipulated. This is via powerful callback mechanism. In this slide, I only show symbolic stages that callbacks allow the user to get access to the packets. Accurate information is provided in the user guide. Let's look at the actual UVM testbench environment and see how transactions from PCI Express VIP monitor are transferred to the scoreboard and checked. This is my channel the scoreboard which is extended from UVM scoreboard and has multiple declaration for TLM ports which are going to receive the Denali PCIe packet. I might have multiple storage places or do use this receive packet to do comparison or any functionality that I would like to do on them. This is my UVM verification component for active root complex and passive endpoint. If you remember in the presentation to be able to use the TLM ports we have to enable the callbacks so what I'm going to do here the callbacks that I'm interested in um, using this simply the set callback functions to enable them. After that, in system verification environment, I have to instantiate my scoreboard, then create my scoreboard, and connect my TLM ports as I would connect any other TLM ports. So I'm going to my monitor and connect the, PL the TLM ports of my interest to the channels defined in my scoreboard. I have run already a simulation with a scoreboard integrated. As you can see here, I observed one scoreboard error where unexpected packet received in one channel and the pack 
packet information is printed out here. This was a brief demo to show how PCI Express VIP monitor gets connected to UVM scoreboard. For more information, please contact me, Amamira Tarha, at incisive underscore VIP at cadence.com or visit us at cadence.com slash VIP. Have a wonderful day.